Hi, I'm Shelby Williams with Plano City Council. Tonight's recap on November 23rd, just before Thanksgiving, is pretty brief. We had a very quick meeting. Uh, first, in the preliminary open meeting, we uh, <clears throat> discussed the criteria changes to the housing tax credit program. This is when a, uh, a development applies for a housing tax credit from the state to provide uh, quote-unquote affordable housing, which really means taxpayer subsidized housing. Uh, we then discussed charity activity. So if you'll remember last holiday season, uh, I issued a personal charity challenge that I would uh, wear a Santa hat, sing the Star Spangled Banner, etc. if we raised enough money for charity. Um, <clears throat> that was on the spur of the moment, very late in the season. So we decided to do something as a council this time around. What we've decided to do, details forthcoming, is that we are each going to take turns ringing the bell, uh, virtual or physical, for the Salvation Army during the holiday season. What we may end up doing is picking uh, two locations, uh, one a typical retail location to solicit donations for the Salvation Army um, and on a Saturday, quite likely December 12th, and we'll each take a shift throughout the day. So like I'll take an hour and a half or two hours and then uh, Anthony Riccardelli, an hour and a half, two hours. Casey Prince, an hour and a half, two hours, etc. So on throughout the day. And we'll probably also have a drive-through donation event for people to come say hello to us um, and uh, give through the drive-through setting for those who don't want to go into the store. And we will also set up uh, donation systems online. So look for details coming out about that very soon. Uh, we're going to try to promote a little friendly competition among this. So um, give to your give to the Salvation Army through your favorite council member. We then moved on to the regular meeting. Uh, we gave certificates of recognition and appreciation for incoming and outgoing board and commission members. Uh, we moved to the first public hearing of the bond referendum. So as everybody should know, if you're following me, <clears throat> the next year's bond referendum, uh, the election is on May 1st. Now, there have been $409.5 million worth of projects that could be going into this bond referendum. But the Citizens Bond Referendum uh, Review Committee is working to prioritize things. On December 8th, then we, we on council will get our first look at the prioritized list and start weighing in. Uh, that's with parks. And then on December 14th, we're going to have the next public hearing on the bond referendum as a whole. And then on January 11th, I think is the last public hearing. And then we will uh, take the actual vote on council for which items to put on the bond referendum for election on May 1st of next year. Now, as I've noted, and you can see my uh, blog for more details on this, uh, almost 60%, three fifths of the total of what's been proposed is for our roads. Uh, a full quarter, per, a quarter, 25%, I think it was, is for parks. And then there, the rest is facilities and a couple other needs. But the roads should come as no surprise. A lot of our roads were built out 20, 30 or more years ago, and they have seen a lot more wear and tear than they were really designed to uh, withstand during this time because North Texas has grown so much and Plano has grown um, in the meantime as well. So there's a significant amount of road repair that needs to be done. Um, believe me, I know, I hear about it all the time. So that's what the lion's share of the bonds are proposed for. And the reality is, including with our facilities updates and uh, parks and rec um, uh, improvements and rework replacements, uh, we were built out about 30 years ago, between 20 and 30 years ago, and our warranty's up, as I've been saying. That's the reality. We then moved on to the public hearing for the uh, increase in the drainage levy. Now, the commercial drainage rates, we're almost at the lowest in the Metroplex. Uh, Allen is a little bit lower than we are, and we need to increase the rates to keep up with our expenses, including the drainage work at the Culvert at the Collin Creek Mall property. Uh, so we're going to be increasing the rates in two phases on commercial uh, developments, so that uh, we will still come in below average for the Metroplex when all is said and done. Hopefully that's where the, uh, the, the needle will stop. Uh, then our, we're increasing our residential rates in two phases as well. 
Um, that's going to be an ultimate roughly a 30% increase over both phases. And that will put us above average for the Metroplex. Uh, however, we will come in below Denton, Dallas, and a few other cities. That was all we had tonight. So uh, I want to wish everybody a safe, a blessed, and a happy Thanksgiving. In 2020, it's a lot easier to see uh, things that we should be thankful for that maybe we uh, never realized. So realize that 2020 is a four-digit word. And I will see you after the, after the Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you.